this is a regular dog, and I'm going to be trading it 100 times in the richest server possible to find out what pets I can get. A full-grown chick. That's actually a massive win if they accept this. I mean, I know they both say that they're commons, but this is one of the rarest common pets that you could possibly go and get, and we now own it. I'm giving away every pet from this video. Just like this video, comment your username, and subscribe for a chance. Second trade, they have a Luna White Tiger, a Swordfish, a Trapdoor Snail, a Luna Tiger, Merhorse, Australian Kelpie, which is actually a pretty old pet now, and also a Walrus. If they go and accept this, then that's amazing, and we now have a ton of pets to try and upgrade. Hang on a second, why would they do that? They hit accept, are you okay? Are they seriously upgrading me from a Luna White Tiger into a Luna Gold Tiger? Oh my word, they actually did. The third trade, and we have a literal legendary. A trapdoor snail, and they're offering me a water moon bear. I think that's an upgrade. This is an event pet compared to a Japan egg pet. Not too sure on the values, but pretty fair. This is an Australian Kelpie for a thorny devil, which did just come out. So hopefully it has a little bit more demand than Australian Kelpie. And also a bunch of ads, such as some donkeys and an otter. Let's hit confirm. Let's see if we can then try it trade the thorny devil yeah this has got to be a troll they just added a dragonfly there is no way they're trading a dragonfly for a swordfish there is no way if they do that is insane and you guys are gonna have such an amazing giveaway at the end of this and they actually just accepted is this a troll why are they adding a spiny saurus a royal egg and a desert egg for a thorny devil this has got to be a prank i don't believe this like there is no way oh my money <laughs> accepted that why okay at least i'm giving these pets away for free okay i feel less bad when I'm gonna give these away. I just asked them to offer and they've added a scarecrow crow for a desert egg. They are not worth this much. The desert egg is 750 bucks, but we are in the richest server possible. And honestly, I think you can tell. Still have another desert egg and this person's offering me a corgi, a skeleton dog, a luna white tiger, and a salamander. Four ultra rares for one egg. Honestly, I feel like people have just lost the plot in this server. I feel like they have too many Mega Neons to even care about these Ultra Rares. And they accepted. Yeah, I think I'm definitely correct. All these people have tons of Mega Neon Shadows and Frosts. That I just think they honestly don't care about what these pets are. So this is the Luna White Tiger and they're offering me three eggnog hairs, which is three rares for one ultra rare. But I have a feeling that I might be able to get slightly better offers on the eggnog pets compared to a Luna White Tiger. And that is successfully our 10th trade. I think. Why is this pet called Michael Jackson? Slightly confused, but let's see what offers we get. Two Persian cats. I know these pets are very much hated, but it's two ultra rares for the price of one, so we'll accept it. This person's added an alley corn for a Persian cat. I know I literally just said that no one likes this pet, but oh my word, what in the world is going on? We just got another legendary. Okay, we're gonna try and trade the second Persian cat, and I don't think we're gonna get another legendary for this. What is happening? How in the world am I about to come up with a another legendary pet? Guys, we literally started with a dog. Hang on, what is actually happening? An eggnog hair for a hydra and an Indian leopard? Are people actually okay? I can't believe people are actually honestly going and um, accepting these trades. That is literally insane if they go and follow through with this. And they did. The skeleton dog for an urban egg and a dapper friend carrier. I have never heard of this vehicle before, but it's a legendary. A hydra for a ginger cat and a ribbon seal. You don't typically see ribbon seals, so I'm going to go and accept this. I know a hydra is probably a pretty decent old mythic pet, though. I want to try to get this legendary vehicle gone. Although I don't actually have it for myself, we're trying to trade everything we get from this video. And we're actually getting a Canadian goose, which I think is pretty difficult to get. Plus a regal chest, which I kind of completely forgot what that even does. 
But let's see what people will offer me for the regal chest, I guess. I'm going to go and take that as a win. Honestly, don't really know what it was worth. They're offering me a ladybug for an urban egg. And a ladybug is actually a Robux pet. So that would be a massive win if they accept it. Magma snail. That is a rare pet to get. Are they actually going to do a magma snail for a ginger cat? They, they actually did. A Spinosaurus for an Ancient Dragon and a bee. I'm going to take that as a win. I know a bee costs Robux. The Spinosaurus is from a Gumball egg compared to an Ancient Dragon going and being from the Everyone egg. They're offering me a Golden Ladybug and this is a Robux pet plus a rare variation of the Robux pet. So I think that's probably a win plus we got a Danger egg. A Snow Owl for an Ancient Dragon. I'm not really sure if this is rarer but it's an old pet and it's not in the game. So we're going to accept that. I think it's got a lot of preppy value. A Danger egg for a Zodiac minion chick i feel like that would be a pretty good trade if they go through and they did there we go another legendary to add on why are they offering me a fool's egg two japan eggs and a woodland egg for a danger egg this has got to be a troll i don't believe this and they accepted that why would they accept that that's insane. A snowball pet. This is actually one of my favorite pets to ever exist in Adopt Me. And they just traded it for a snow owl. That was a 100 Robux pet. This is a fake Roplex. Now that's going to be interesting. They're offering me an octopus for a Zodiac minion chick. I, what? That's such a better pet. Wow. Thank you, fake Roplex. This is an amazing trade. An emu, which is neon and a cerberus there's no way they're accepting this they actually just did a cerberus is great that's a robux pet plus a neon emu this is such a random arrangement of legendary and ultra rare pets but i know for a fact that we can go and trade some of these ultra rare pets for some higher tier pets such as the brown chested pheasant being robux the highland cow being pretty difficult to go and obtain and the same for some of these other pets plus we're getting a legendary out of it a sunrise duckling and a sloth since a sloth is a robux pet also and this is a legendary i'm gonna hit accept and hopefully we get this i'm not sure the demand on the sunrise duckling a golden griffin for the magma snail i know that this is an ultra rare and it's actually really difficult to get but we're just gonna take the loss on this one i think it might be slightly easier to trade a legendary also why is so many people spectating this trade a cerberus for a cactus friend i'm not sure if they're going to go and accept this but if they do then it's definitely going to be an easier pet to try and get upgrades on oh they accept it okay i'm gonna accept this a gargoyle for a sunrise duckling this pet definitely has a lot more demand if they go and accept it compared to the duckling the golden griffin for a fleur de ice and a candy hair that is two legendaries for the price of one and we just got that trade let's go it has to be a troll all of this for a dragonfly i honestly do not believe they're offering me a mega neon canadian goose but if they are then that's absolutely insane i'm gonna hit confirm and wow they actually did and a neon dolphin a japan egg for two urban eggs i'm gonna go and accept this oh wait they just added something i probably shouldn't have hit accept then yeah, I'm gonna say that's an upgrade going getting two urban eggs for a Japan egg. Plus, we're now getting a free bee, which is Robux, which I wasn't expecting them to go and do. And let's go. This is the woodland egg that we got earlier, and someone's offering me a royal desert egg in this, which is actually kind of amazing. Yeah, this is honestly a great trade. I don't think they're gonna accept this. The woodland egg isn't that old, right? Okay, if they accept this, that is insane. The Royal Desert Egg gets some crazy overpaid. I'm gonna hit accept and wow, they actually did. A Desert Egg for a Danger Egg and a Lunar Ox. Now this is an upgrade since the Danger Egg is literally older. A Deathstalker Scorpion is the Ultra Rare that came out of the Desert Egg. And they added a Ram and a Halloween Mummy Cat, which is a very good trade. I'm gonna accept this one. They're offering a ride potion. And I know for a fact that I can trade a ride potion for about two plus legendaries, which basically means I am getting a legendary for free. 
a bee for a ribbon seal, a red panda, a parakeet, a pet egg, and then also two cracked eggs, which is kind of fun to be fair. Not too sure the value on these, but that is two ultra rares for the price of one. Whatever this player offers me, I will have to accept, which means if they add a sandwich, then I have to hit accept on it. A magma snail? Bro, why are they giving me an actual good pet? Are you kidding? I was hoping that they would add something like a sandwich. Why did they just give me a magma snail? Again, I'm just gonna hit accept on literally anything now. So I added a sloth, which is a Robux pet called Brownie, and we're getting an urban egg for it, which might be useful. The Neon Emu actually has a pretty good demand, and we're getting a legendary black Chow Chow, plus a rock pigeon, an armadillo that just came out, and also a beluga whale, which is actually pretty good. Wait, why am I doing this? This is like the most pointless trade, but technically it's still a trade, which means we get to add one more trade to the 100 layers. I'm gonna accept this. This is a ride Cerberus and a gingerbread mouse as an upgrade from a ride potion. This pet already has a ride potion on it. And we're also getting a gingerbread mouse, which is an amazing pet. This is a pretty big win, I think. A cuddly candle, which is junior and it has a ride potion on it for a neon dolphin that we got earlier. I'll take a ride legendary, I think. A fossil egg and a king bee that is teen for the royal desert egg. Honestly, you guys should just trade this egg instead of going and hatching it because it has so much value. A dodo and a frost claw plush. I had no idea that that was an item. Why is it a legendary? I had no clue that was a thing. But anyway, a ride dodo. A ride king bee for a cactus friend and some wings. And I think it's going to be a bit easier to trade. They have a neon fly ride dragon. I think I might be overpaying with this, but we want to try and get ourselves a neon fly ride legendary in this trading challenge. So we're getting rid of a cuddly candle, a Cerberus, both are Robux pets, alongside a gargoyle and a black chow chow, also a Robux pet. So we're getting a neon fly ride dragon. Now, this is an interesting trade offer. Oh, they they took away the other legendary, okay. Oh, they added another legendary. I think I might accept this. Only because we're getting two legendaries for the price of one. Plus we're getting a mythic egg, which does have good value. And I feel like I might be able to trade the mythic egg on its own for a decent legendary, since it's a pretty old egg now. A mythic egg and a fossil egg turning into a king bee. These things are kind of hard to go and trade. So finding someone who'd go and offer me a legendary for it, I think I'm gonna have to take them up on it. No way we're about to get three legendaries for this. Is the wooden egg actually really rare or something? A dragonfly, a field mouse, and a golden albatross. Is this a troll? I don't know, they actually accepted. Wow, we just got three legendaries. This is a ride alicorn. Again, going and getting ourselves a ride pet, probably pretty decent, and it's an alicorn. We might get some good offers. We're going to try and trade four of our legendary pets into another neon legendary, plus a full grown unicorn, which is actually an added bonus, which I don't think they were gonna accept, and let's go! We now have our second neon legendary and a unicorn. This player has a neon fly ride dragon. We're gonna try and upgrade our zodiac minion, the field mouse, golden albatross, and the flood ice with a couple of the random ads that we received earlier to try and get our upgrade. And it looks like we might end up with enough neon fly ride legendaries to make a mega neon. The fact that we now literally have three Neon Fly Ride Legendaries and we started off like not many trades ago is kind of still insane to me. This player has a Neon Eggnog Dog, so I'm gonna go and offer them four Ultra Rares. They said they don't have many pets in Adopt Me. And I actually really do like the Eggnog Dog and I think it's a pretty cool pet to get as Neon. This player is offering me an Ice Moth Dragon and a Dragonfly for a Unicorn, which I think is... Actually really good. I don't know why they're offering me two legendaries, especially since one's a dragonfly. For a desert egg, they're offering me a Saint Bernard, which was a Christmas advent calendar pet on day 25 a couple years ago. So that's actually really good. This is a neon dolphin and a red panda in return for a ladybug, ginger cat, lunar ox, and a dragon. And remember that we're nearly at the 100 trademark, which means you can get these completely for free. 
a dragonfly for a fleur de ice, and also a desert egg. Nice one. This is actually a really good offer, a panda and a ring-tailed lima. If I'm correct, the panda does cost Robux, and we're going and trading it for a Deathstalker Scorpion. The Deathstalker Scorpion that we probably literally just traded, and a ring-tailed lima. I forgot how you got the lima, to be honest. I don't think it was a Robux pet, right? A desert egg for a desert egg and a lunar tiger. But we're gonna mix things up and we're gonna hatch this desert egg right in front of them. Because we can, so let's go and use the hatch now feature, spend my 45 Robux, and find out what pet I'll actually go and get. Hopefully it's a cactus, if not I've just wasted 45 Robux, but let's go and find out, and we got ourselves an Oryx, which is um... It would have been better as an egg, so we're gonna try and trade the Oryx right now. And as if by magic, my um my Oryx has turned back into an egg, which uh, which I was not expecting to happen, to be honest. So I guess we kind of didn't lose anything apart from 45 Robux from it. An Ice Moth Dragon for a Robo Dog and a Red Squirrel. Plus, there's also a desert egg in there, which is a nice added bonus. I'm trying to do a crazy trade right now, but I don't think they're gonna follow through. In terms of value, I believe these things are equal, which is kind of crazy that we have the equal value of a neon vampire dragon right now. But I think they are quite hesitant on the trade. I'm gonna try it by adding a couple more ultra rares and see if that makes them budge. I don't think they want to budge on this trade though. Which I mean, I guess is good for you because you guys are gonna end up getting a bunch more neon legendaries to multiple different people. A flood ice for an ice moth dragon and some ads. Wait, that's full grown. What are they doing? They're not accepting this. This is a troll. By the way, I've been filming this video for about three hours now that it's, um, it's actually made me cry. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, wait, they actually hit accept. Wait, 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 wait. The lava wolf is too rare. This is this is a joke. I'm not even joking. I'm crying because I've looked at the screen for too long. Also, I'm ill, so that's great. I'm gonna hit accept. I don't think they will. Oh my god, they actually hit a lava wolf and an ice moth dragon. Let's go. I think I've just uh, stumbled into like some scammers going on here. Basically, these people were pretending to be poor and begging for pets, but they had a neon shadow dragon, which is absolutely insane. Imagine saying you're poor and then pulling out one of the most expensive pets in the game is literally what has just happened in this server. Maybe they were just doing like a troll and a friend or something, but we got a flood to ice back, by the way, which had a lot of value a minute ago. A zodiac minion chick into a preteen dragon is a massive upgrade. Mainly because the dragon has more demand and this is one of the most hated pets. A gingerbread reindeer, if you know me, I say it every time, but this is one of my favorite pets. And they also added a bunch of randoms. Since I'm called Cookie Cutter, it makes sense to try and get the cookie themed pets, such as something made out of gingerbread. A starfish and a king penguin. I'm just gonna hit accept on anything at this point, and to be fair, I think that's probably a pretty decent deal. Since I'm giving away some of the pets, I've literally just traded a random player. And as I said, I will literally be giving away all of these pets that I got in today's video, completely for free, every single 100 of them. This dude's freaking out right now that I'm about to go and give them a completely free squirrel. So let's imagine how people are gonna freak out when they get a free Neon Fly Rider Dragon, which could be you. Simply like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. My goal is to get to 1 million subscribers this year, and we can do it. I just spotted this player wearing my merch, so we have to go and hook them up with a completely free pet. There we go. I'm simply gonna stand here without my influencer star and see who trades me. First person to trade me will literally get a completely free pet from the list that we just got. There we go, we randomly got a trade request. So let's go and give them a free magma snail. They said they're a fan as well. There we go, completely free magma snail. Going out to a fan, which is even better. We just got sent another trade request, and I just told them that this red panda is free. Honestly, it's so fun going and giving away completely free pets, as I know going and doing this makes other players really happy. This person just said they're subscribed to me. So we're gonna go and give them a completely free ladybug. 
Of course, we have the Neon Legendaries and Mega Neon Goose that we're gonna give away to someone watching this video. And I've just found the strangest thing ever. Give your old pets into the bush because I'm poor and I only have three pets, please. So we're gonna go and surprise them right now. They said, please add more and I'm just gonna say free. And we have added the Fleur de Ice. I'm trying to get them to remove the pet so I get a free pet for them. I don't think they understand that I'm trying to give it to them for free. I'm literally trying to explain to them and they're telling me to remove. Do they not? They declined the trade. They just declined me from a free legendary. Honestly, that has never happened to me before. Let's try this again and give away another Fleur de Ice, and if they say my star code, they get it for free. The other person didn't respond, but this person traded me and straight away said my star code is candy. So let's give them the Fleur de Ice completely for free. Now, if you want to be like one of these lucky players, then simply like this video and subscribe, and you could be like Tommy, who just got the Fleur de Ice for free. Now you can go and check out if these are real people, all of these giveaways are 100% genuine. As giving away free pets literally just makes me happy. So subscribe and help me try to get to 1 million subscribers. Because at 1 million, I'll give away some of the rarest pets in the game for free. This Roblox game teaches you how to make your own Roblox game. Click here to watch this video, where it will literally teach you how to make your own games. Click here to watch next.